Hey, hey, thank you so much for tuning in. We have got our Synology NAS and we've got a fairly new version of Windows Server, which is Windows Server 2022. We've shown you how to install different operating systems before on this channel, on your Synology NAS, as a VM, actually running the server directly on your NAS itself. Yes, you can do it. Why don't you let us know in the comments below what NAS do you have? And also, you're watching this on the internet, so please do subscribe, really would appreciate it. A lot of you like my videos and that's great, but a lot of you are not actually subscribed, so please do subscribe, would really appreciate the support. Thank you very much. Okay, now, before we go through this demo, just wanna give you a little disclaimer here. A NAS is not really meant for this purpose. Now don't click off, it's meant to be for storing files, it's meant to be for maybe running Plex, you could maybe run a WordPress website, that sort of stuff. A Windows Server, you're gonna need a bit of grunt, you're gonna need a bit of RAM, a bit of CPU, you know, maybe for your own lab environment, for your own testing, for your, you know, maybe in a home environment, maybe in a small business. But in a corporate world, you probably don't wanna go down this route, you wanna be running it on separate hardware, okay? So that little caveat aside, let's now go and show you how to install Windows Server 22 on Synology NAS. When you get into that, what is one of the best ways that you can stay anonymous online, or at least secure your connection when you are online? That is getting yourself a VPN. Let's say you're going down to your local Starbucks or your McDonald's, you're at a hotel and you're connecting to their local Wi-Fi. You don't know who could be looking at that Wi-Fi. That Wi-Fi is not managed by you. It's not your home Wi-Fi. You don't know what snooping is being taken place on that Wi-Fi. So when you connect to that Wi-Fi, you then connect to a VPN and you are then secure when you're surfing the internet. I recommend that you use Pure VPN because Pure VPN is one of those VPN services that has never failed me. Every time that I'm traveling and I'm accessing a shared Wi-Fi network, I'm connecting to a VPN service. And the other great thing is you can actually have your IP address be to a different country. So let's say you're watching the Netflix machine and you're living in one country and you wanna watch Netflix in a different country. Well, you can do that with a VPN service. If you wanna sign up to Pure VPN, go to the video description. I've got a link directly to that service right there. You will not be disappointed. So Knowledge and Naz logged in. We are running DSM-7. We're gonna assume that you've already got it all configured. It's all ready to go. You've set up your RAID groups. You've set up your storage pools. And now we have to go and actually install some software onto our NAS to be able to let you install Windows Server. So we're gonna go into our package center right here. And in here, I'm gonna type in virtual, at least the first few letters. And we're gonna get Virtual Machine Manager right there. We're gonna install that. Now this is an application that essentially allows you to create virtual machines and run them directly onto your Synology NAS, which is really excellent. So once that's finished, let's just open that up. And we've got now a wizard. We're gonna start that wizard. We're gonna make sure that all of these things are okay, that they're enabled or the eligible. If some of these are not actually status is correct, as you see right here, you're gonna have to go back and try to fix some of those. But we're gonna assume that everything here is okay. We're gonna select next. What volume do you want to use to actually set up your first virtual machine? Well, I'm gonna use it my volume one. You will select the volume that is relevant for you. So that is now successful. So now we can start building our virtual machine. You see that now it's actually created a host. So your Synology NAS is now acting as a server, as a host, but there's no virtual machines and there's one storage. And of course our storage is what we've just set up right there. Now let's go into virtual machine. We're gonna select create. The operating system is going to be Microsoft Windows. Where do you wanna actually store it? Well, we've already created this area right over here. So we can select it in there. What is the name of the virtual machine? So what do we wanna call our virtual machine? So you may call it a file server and it's 2022. So it's running Windows Server 2022. How many CPUs and memory do you wanna to allocate to it? Now, of course, because this is a virtual machine, you're allocating virtual CPU and virtual memory onto it, but it will be using some of the physical resources of your Synology NAS. So just be aware that when your virtual machine is running, then those resources are gonna be allocated to your virtual machine, affecting potentially some of the resources and the how your NAS is actually running itself. So just be aware of that. How big do you want your C drive to be, your virtual disk? Well, I'm gonna say I want it to be 120 gig. You can also add additional virtual disks to your virtual machine down the track if you so choose to. What is the network? Well, by default, it's gonna use my standard network. I haven't configured, haven't touched this. As long as you've got a network running, it should have been configured automatically for you and we can select next. 
Now this is a Synology guest tool. Essentially, this is gonna ensure that your virtual machine has full compatibility with your Synology now. So I definitely recommend this. It's gonna install this tool onto your VM once your VM is booted up and it's ready to go, it's gonna download it from here. So you're gonna need a internet connection for your Synology NAS. I recommend you download it and then we'll install it on our VM. Now we gotta get our ISO. Now, of course, the ISO is the Windows Server 2022 ISO. So what you need to do is you now need to go and download the Windows Server 22 ISO if you have not done that already. If you do wanna download it, you can open up your browser on your computer, type in download Windows Server 2022, you can go to the Microsoft Evaluation Center and you're free to use it for a full 180 days. So I'm gonna select download the ISO right here, continue, fill in your relevant information, select your language and click on download. So once you have that ISO, upload it onto your NAS and then we're gonna go and navigate to that path and select that ISO. Here it is right there, select. And of course the additional ISO file is that Synology guest tool that we downloaded just before, which is gonna ensure compatibility between those two. Do you wanna auto start it? Well, once we finish this, do you want to auto start that VM? I'm gonna say no for now, and I'm gonna leave everything else as the default. Who do you want access to this VM? So grant access to the users that will require access. Summary and done. VM is done, it's powered off. You've got some information on the bottom left-hand corner around general, virtual disk and network, so you can see exactly what's going on. Of course, all of this is customizable. You can go into action, edit it, you can clone that VM, you can migrate, you can do all of that. But what we're gonna do is now, I'm gonna right click and select power on. I'm gonna connect to it, essentially opening up a console window so I can see exactly what's happening. And if you can see this right here, it means that your ISO has been detected, has been mounted, and now that virtual machine is starting to load the installation files so you can install Windows Server. The steps to install are very straightforward, essentially how you would install a normal Windows Server. I'm gonna select custom. Here is my hard drive of 120 gig that we allocated. Installation will then commence. And here we go, Windows Server 2022, perfect. Okay, so now it's your turn. Why don't you go and try it Download it, install it, let me know how you go. Let me know if it's running well. Let me know if it's not running well. Like this video if you did like it. And please do subscribe because I would love it if you did because it helps me. And also make sure that you keep the date with all of my video releases. Thanks for tuning in. We will see you next time.